Oh, hello guys, hello everybody. Are you feeling it? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. Intense, 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 intense is really not the word for it. Just a minute, guys, I didn't get my cup of tea. Oh. God, I'll tell you what, if I didn't have my cup of tea, I don't think I'd have made it through this day. It's like half past four here now in the afternoon. And all the old demons have reared their heads today. Like, they're in there now, my living room, having a party. Bloody hell, what the fuck? Unbelievable. Um... It's like we're living in a cauldron of insane boiling frogs and what's coming up more than anything else for me is just where we've, we've been so utterly got at, right, that we just... <laughs> And, and this this comes up every time, right? Of course, like, and then you you know you have a break and you 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 you're, you're feeling your power again. You're in tune again. You feel the truth. You know you're in in you know in communion, and you're good. You're good. And then it's like the shit hits the fan all over again and you just lost up shit creek without a paddle in fact you're up shit creek without a boat and a paddle you're just in it in shit oh, oh man oh man what the fuck and all you can do is bear with it because there's there's your true self saying you'll write this out you'll write it out it will be okay but you feel this strong compulsion to check the internet for answers or whatever, you know, that sort of thing. Like, let's see what's going on, let's see what's going on. And of course the internet will give you absolutely no answers as to what is going on. I have noticed a complete and utter insanity generated by this Q thing and I notice something is going on I mean that's pretty hard to fucking miss here you know and here's the thing you get all these people that that say well you know they, they get really really angry and they, they talk about well we have to save ourselves we have to save ourselves but they spend all their time watching conspiracy theories and whatnot and you can tell what they're into because you just look at the sort of channels they subscribe to or you look at their facebook page or you just listen to what they generally talk about to each other or whatever you know I mean, if you have a friend or two like that <laughs> um and it's like, well, okay, so if we have to save ourselves, how exactly are you saving yourself then? Because the world is populated with these conspiracy theorist-minded people that don't go within, don't do any work at all. They don't own their shit in any way, shape, form. They just want to be told by some external source that everything is going to hell. And they talk about that in their own videos, or they talk about that to to each other, and uh, how shit everything is, and how everything is going to shit, and how it's really, really shit, and it's so shit, and it's getting shittier and shittier. And it's like, okay, that that what the fuck? What does that serve? You know, I'm so, I'm just so fed up with everything. I'm so fed up with people. I'm so fed up with fucking with the fact that. We all, and we do this, all of us, we do this, we give our power away because we've been taught and manipulated in, in every imaginable way to do exactly that. Um, I 
you know, it's like your intuition is there, it's telling you things. It's saying, yeah, yeah, something is going on. Pay attention to your instincts, to this intuition. I mean, there was a complete power outage in Pakistan, as in the whole country went black. What the fuck? There's, throughout 2020, we've had many strange things that have happened. High strangeness in the skies. And what I do is I keep my fingers on the pulse of all of that. And I don't draw any definitive conclusions. I just won't do it. I don't want to get drawn into anything. Because the minute the crowd is in on something, it's bound to be a crock of shite. And what not, and what not, and what not. But today, it, it's been... It was interesting because I was watching... Um, I was watching Vikings, the last, uh, the last series of it, you know, I just about got around to watching it and there is the old soothsayer, uh, the ancient one, and he keeps appearing to people even though he's died ages ago but he keeps showing up here and there, you know, as you do, um, and he tells this, this man seeking his counsel he says, you know, what's true today will not be true tomorrow. And what was true yesterday will not be true today. Nothing is set in stone. Stop listening to the voices. There are too many voices. You know, and he starts to kind of whine and then he kind of fades away. I kind of feel like fading away today, I have to be honest. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, because that is what this is. All these dissenting voices. It's this, this is what's going on. It's that, that's what's going on. You know, if there's one thing I'm certain of is that we've all, that that is truly soul people, truly awakening people, and, and kind of people is a derogatory term that I don't like to use, let's face it, but... Us soul travellers, we all of us feel as if we are at the end of our road. We all of us feel as if, like, how much fucking more do we have to take? You know, for those of us who are genuine, for those of us who are going within, feeling our emotions, asking these questions, what, what am I feeling, why am I feeling that? And being guided by our true self and by the great mother, the force, if you want to call it that, ever deeper, inwards, 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 doing the work, which is the hardest thing ever, right? And then we've, we've gained a lot in terms of gnosis, in terms of insight, no doubt about that. But when you go into a perch, you lose all of that temporarily. It seems to just disappear. It's obscured, you see. It's obscured by the dark generator, which gets very loud again. And the hell contagion, which... The hell contagion is basically all the trauma, all the programming, all the mind control, all the rage, all the yet unresolved layers of that... And it's what the dark generator hooks into and uses against us. And that is very much what's happening. And, of course, staying, holding, holding the line or staying the course in, in times like that, it's really just the hardest thing to do. It's all very well for these nice, new agey people to talk about, oh, just, just, just let it go and then just love and light and, you know... Um, because they're, they're all busy nicely spiritually bypassing all that shit. Uh, yeah, and they're full of crap. But for a genuine soul traveler, it's not like that at all. That is not how we experience this. Going within is the most painful, most arduous thing. And right now. Ooh, It's, it's when chaos reigns. Chaos, confusion, that your trauma self pipes up strongly and it, it's there 
I said, what the fuck's going on? I don't know what's going on. I can't trust myself and I can't trust anybody else. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. And it's like insanity, fear, just fear and confusion and chaos and darkness and Because we all know this experience, this world, this realm is completely and utterly fucked. We need something. I, I can't blame people for wanting something, for wanting to have faith in something on the external. I can't blame them. I really can't. Because, you know, you're either going to be one of these that sits around just watches countless conspiracy theories or just just like Mac, people like Max Egan or whatever and it's just continually bad news and it's always bad and it's all, we're all doomed and it's like well if that's the truth then why even bother why are you there I just don't get that at all and I also don't get the people who on the other side who are oh yeah the Galactic Federation of Light I always call them the Galactic Federation of Shite because it's bullshit but when you walk the middle path the narrow path you realize that okay so if consciousness creates reality and we have been doing the work genuinely for real then it's not about just sitting on your ass waiting for something to happen I mean, the question is, how does consciousness create reality? And a lot of people think that you have to force it through. You have to think about what you want and you have to get really OCD about it and imagine it in ab ab exact detail. Have to, oh, this is what I want and oh, this is what it looks like. Oh, no, don't think like that. No, no, I have to think like that. And it becomes this almost like mental torture to hold an image of this perfect whatever it is you want in your head which inevitably gets really difficult because the dark generator your trauma of the hell can you know all of it starts to muddy the path and it's like oh i can't hold the image but i must i must oh oh let's do a vision board and it's like wow that that is just not how it works it's a bit like when people start talking about oh are you the right vibration <laughs> uh, you know um that's not how it works at all I don't think it ever did, obviously, but it's it's a case of first that which the part of you and, and the programming and the etheric implants and all the nefarious, insane nastiness that's going on there that would have you think like that in the first place has to be neutralized and that is a process that has been going on now for some of us for a very long time and it's not to say that there hasn't been any momentum forward momentum because there most definitely has been a massive amount of forward momentum you know but as yet it hasn't translated to this it hasn't changed or so we think the external plane in any way and of course we don't really know what is happening because this is the thing maybe things have changed maybe our work in a work is having a major impact you know I mean, some people think that we come here to have this experience and to grow old and die, and that's all there is to it. Or we just leave this place and leave everybody here to do whatever they do, but we get to leave and go somewhere. But for me, it always felt like this is something I'll be seeing through to the very end. As in, this is, this is it. You're here for a reason. You're here to, first of all, experience this in a kind of comatose unawakened state to be a slave and to not be aware and not awake at all 
barely sentient, ergo, really, then to awaken, then to learn to utilize everything you experienced whilst in the comatose slave state to finally understand all of that, to use that as an impetus and to go into ever higher levels of awakening using that as, well, fuel in a way. Um, and then to reach a kind of state of understanding and to do something with it to bring about reset and that still really resonates with me you know um, but today is the sort of day where you think that it's all been in vain it's all been for nothing and this shit show is just going to get worse and worse and worse and it's just going to go on and on and on like this and just ooh, like lemmings heading for the cliff and that's all there is and I know a lot of us feel that way today, I can feel it. I mean, it's very dark, very dark. Energetically, but also in terms of the weather, which of course is energetic as well, because everything is. But it's like... It's so tempting to look for answers from the external, isn't it? But we never ever find answers there. You may find vindication and you may find validation of that which you already know within. Because that is what it's all about, people. And I, for one, I can't really associate with people anymore who just don't understand that. People who just expect the external to somehow <coughs> fix itself or set itself to rights without them actually having to do anything at all. People who continually sit in their own shit without even realizing they're sitting in their own shit do, doing absolutely fucking nothing and just repeating the same patterns and the same shit over and over and over again i can't i can't do it anymore i can't have a conversation with people like that because it's meaningless it, it, it's like they, they, i can't have a conversation with them about anything they don't understand anything you know and I can't have a conversation with people or associate with people who deny the shadow, the hell contagion, the dark generator and just think it's all about happy, happy, happy. And I can't really associate or have a conversation with people who blindly follow these weird Jim Jones and the People's Temple type of fucking shenanigans either. Because it's just... <coughs> oh man. Well, I mean there's a shitload of Kool-Aid sloshing through the streets right now, people. It's fucking unbelievable. Like rivers and rivers and seas of Kool-Aids. What the fuck? Consciousness creates reality. Consciousness reaches a certain state through many trials and tribulations. It is purified. So I call it the forge. This is what it is. It's all about the true consciousness. Uninhibited, unshackled. And that is a shift that I have noticed. That is something I've been very aware of. 
it's happened bit by bit by bit, layer after layer after layer, as I have shed another layer of shit. Oh, yeah. And then another layer of shit. <gasps> wow. That is how it's been for me. Yes. And it ain't over until the fat lady sings, and the fat lady hasn't even arrived in the fucking theatre as yet. You know. They're still putting up that special podium for her. I think she weighs about, I don't know, six ton. <laughs> you know, it's easy to get to that point over and over again where you think all is lost and everything's fucked and everybody's gone completely and utterly insane. I mean, you have all these false... You know, false prophets are everywhere now, people. There is no doubt about that. And don't ever forget, guys, that the best lie, the best lies always have a nice big chunk of the truth in them. You know? Those are the best lies. It's all the religious overtones, you know? And all this patriarchal, weird, insinuating, I don't know, I don't know I don't, I'm not even very good at putting it into words. I'm just really rambling. Because for me, I feel the great mother more than anything. It feels very feminine and it feels good and powerful and wholesome and it tells me to hang in there it says if you want to know if anything is happening then you need to look at your own progress it's like a bit like walking climbing up a mountain right you know how much progress you've made when you stop and you look back you see oh wow I made it that far up the mountain you don't know what lies at the very top of the mountain because you haven't arrived there yet but you're really fucking exhausted and you're there in your bathing suit in the snow and you're looking around thinking I ain't gonna get there am I it's never gonna happen because I'm not strong enough and I know I know that feeling <laughs> but if consciousness creates reality in my humble opinion then we will start to reap the fruits of our labor and this shit show will begin to change it will begin to transform right how it does that and what that would look like i have absolutely no idea see i don't waste my time torturing myself with oh, I have to imagine exactly what it's gonna look like because what happens is images just show up in my head anyway beautiful images of a world that literally glows it's just incredible and it's beautiful I do my inner work that's, that's really all I have here. That's all I can do. And I say, I say it like that. I say, well, that's all I can do. And it, it makes me sound quite defeatist. But actually, con to the contrary, I feel strongly about it. You know? More and more do I, I realise that when it comes to the left brain way of thinking, it's all trauma-based and bullshit, um... In that sense, they're, no, we're not in control, because control is, is a word of darkness. It isn't about control, I feel. It's about letting go, and it's about a type of, like, surrender. It's about feeling all the things that I have felt today, and all the compulsions, compulsive type of behaviors like do this go there or think like this that I've been feeling today and to continually bring myself back to me to home to in here to not let it distract me 
and it does distract me but I managed to bring myself home again and I'm just gonna keep doing that yeah I'm gonna stay stay the course I'm gonna be for me and that's one thing that we can do in the middle of, of, of this dark chaos And sometimes we do succumb, yeah we do, we really start to believe the, you know, the dark generators lies, you know, hopelessness, the despair, the rage, it's very hard, I mean, even if you really try very hard, and I mean, you know, some people really live in the middle of nowhere and wow, wonderful for them, but I don't, you, you're somehow You know, it's there, isn't it? It's there. It's there. Like the fact that supermarkets in this country are now not going to let people shop without wearing a mask. That is what they said. But I bet you any money that when I go and do the shopping tomorrow, I won't be wearing a mask, you see, that nobody will stop me and there won't be any problem. Because this is what they do and it's called baiting. So for starters guys, don't fall for that. It's like some sort of beast that is cornered and it's spitting venom, right? If, hell, even, believe me people, if evil had it all down pat and had it all sorted and evil had won and it was all over and the evil fat lady was singing, you know, that would be like, I don't know, like, sort of Jabba the Hutt in a party dress, um, something like that. If that were the case, then, believe me, it wouldn't be looking like this. We, they would want to exterminate the vast majority of people. They, they would want to put us in camps and exterminate us, or they would just go door to door and exterminate us. It would be... All kinds of things would be happening. There would be food shortages. There would be all kinds of really horrible, nasty shit happening. Believe me, I know. And that's not happening at all. It's like the schoolyard bully convincing you of his might. But the minute you kick him in the balls, he runs off screaming for mummy. Because it's all bullshit, people. It really is. I think it's bullshit. And we need to stop feeding it, right? So whatever you do, guys, lie low. Just do what I do if you can. Lie as low as you can and just tend to your own needs. And if you slip into the darkness and the chaos, grab yourself by the back of the neck and pull yourself back into the light. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition, you know, because it's a pack of lies, it's just bullshit. All these fucking ridiculous stories of like, oh, 200,000 people were vaccinated yesterday, it never happened, I know that. It never happened. They said they were not going to let anybody shop in Sainsbury's or in, um, what was the other one, you know, because um, no, they weren't going to, and then there was going to be all these, all these guards, you know, with AK-47s and I don't know, whatever, what the fuck, and it, it never happened. The police said, look, we can't enforce this, and we're not willing to, and there were some people outside the doors, apparently, wearing, I don't know, scary clothing, black generally but they did absolutely nothing and this is exactly what happened the last time and there was these women that supposedly yes all right darling mm -hmm. there were these people um these two women that went for a, a bit of a drive and then went for a walk and ever find supposedly 200 pounds but they made a song and dance about it and it was squashed but here's the thing i bet you that never actually happened at all because it's all bullshit.
they lie and lie and lie and make stuff up and they say this is happening and they say that's happening and they say that's going down and oh and oh and oh and oh and it's all theatre and it's all players gave and it's not real and it's not happening but of course we live in a world where we never really know exactly what is happening But something is going down. I do feel that. And I don't know exactly what it is. But something is happening. As in. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's as if we are in a war. On many different levels. You know. So we need to keep alchemizing the hell contagion and stay out of it guys don't get involved don't get entangled and don't believe a word of it just don't believe a word of it at all hmm. because it's all fucking bullshit I keep seeing one thing and it's, <laughs> it keeps coming to me again and again and again where I see and, and I know this sounds really mad maybe to some people but it's what I keep seeing and I keep feeling it as well and pff, it's going to be revealed somehow that there is a shitload more land you know it's going to be revealed that you know the you know what, what we've got, right? We've got supposedly this globe and a finite landmass. And well, this is the earth and those are the, you know, that's the land and that's the seas and that's how it is. Well, it's going to turn out it's not like that at all. And there's a shitload more land. A shitload more land. And there's many, many other things that are going to come out somehow. Truths that are going to be mind-blowing. Because we've been kept here on a finite amount of land, like in a prison. And we know it's a prison because you can't even leave your country, the country where you reside, without a passport. That's a prison. Our food's been poisoned, we've been poisoned. The air that we breathe is poisoned and the water that we drink is poisoned. I'm, I'm talking forever chemicals here that you can't get out no matter how much you filter your water. That's why I don't drink any tap water but even water that comes from your wells will be polluted because all of this is done on purpose it really kind of is like living on a disc under a dome though I don't think it's quite like that I don't think it is quite like that but it probably is something quite similar we're going to find out so much about what actually is as opposed to what we thought is that is what I feel. Because if consciousness creates reality and we have genuinely done the work and alchemized and are still alchemizing the hell contagion and we're continuing to rise, more and more will be revealed that will change everything I really fucking believe that so what is supposedly true today will not at all be true tomorrow what is true this week will not at all be true next week and so forth and so on so don't listen to all the voices guys even the voice inside your own head the dark generator and often it has more than one voice have you ever noticed that it has all these different voices like the demons right now in my living room Stop fucking drinking my tea, fuckers. Right, they're in there now, making a mess. And it's just madness and insanity and chaos and fear and rage and uh, conflict and crank. It's always crank. You know, got so bad I even had a little ciggy again today because I thought to myself you know what fuck it you can have a little ciggy it's okay countless cups of tea and just bearing with it because that's it 
And if there's a voice in your head telling you, oh, it's all so stupid and weak and insipid and you're not getting anywhere, nothing. Oh, and I don't want any comments going, yeah, we're not getting anywhere because I'm just going to delete her because I'm not interested. Because I'm not feeding them monkeys, no. Um, then you need to listen, to listen to your true self because your true self will be saying, well, that's bullshit. Because it's not true, people. That's part of your job, I would say. That's part of your 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 warrior of the light job description is to discern. And if you're told myself, they go, but well, that must be true because it's all really dark. And this is then you need to just love yourself. You need to say, hey, honey, come and sit on my lap. Let's have a cup of tea. And let's focus our attention on something creative or some beautiful music or even a feel-good film that has some wholesome wholesomeness in it, something, whatever, you know. I was watching As Good As It Gets the other day and I thought that was quite funny. <laughs> I like Melvin Udall, I'm a lot like him. Uh, you know, <laughs> a bit of a misanthrope in a way. Well, no, I'm not really, but you know, I just don't have any patience with assholes anymore. And let's face it, the majority of them are. I have compassion, I do, but that doesn't mean I have to tolerate or put up with the absolute nonsense. I don't. But increasingly, I'm learning to let go and not let it trigger me quite as much as it used to. Either way, guys, either way, I just wanted to do this video, and it's, I know it's probably not a great video, actually, because I'm just a bit, like, a bit limp today. A bit limp and a bit... Like that, you know. Um, but you know, I'm managing to to grab, to keep hold of myself, you know, to keep hold of myself and to get through this. And I will, and you will too. It's today, it's tomorrow, and probably Thursday's gonna feel pretty shitty as well. But we're gonna get through this, guys, all right? It, it's it's not over until the, the fat lady sings. It just isn't. So we need to keep doing the work. That means that, yeah, just because we've known it to be so dark, we have been totally mind control, we have been through it all, we have suffered horrendously, all of that is true. We've also done a shitload of work. And think about, right, you're on the mountain right now, we're still scaling the mountain now, I need you to stop and I need you to turn around and I need you to have a look at how far you've come up the fucking mountain. We're nearly there. That I do feel. And and that's why the world now is it's mad and things are happening. But what's actually really happening, guys, those talking heads will not they won't tell you. I kiss you, okay, son? This is kiss mad. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. They won't tell you because there's all these people. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. There's all these people, you know, claiming to know exactly what's going on, right? And those are the people you need to get the fuck away from because those are the people that know exactly jack shit. They're just talking fucking heads. That's all they are. And they're narcissists, often enough, and they love attention. Finally, they think they've got a bit of power over people and they've got all these people lapping it up and subscribing to their YouTube channels and it's this and it's that and it's oh, this is what's going on and oh yeah. And it's no, you don't know anything, mate. You don't know a fucking thing. I know something is going on. I bet you you're asked that you also know something is going on. We can feel it. But this is a work in progress. Yeah? This is a work in progress. Right now, what counts, what counts more than anything is to love ourselves, is to hold on to ourselves. You know, if we do slip into the darkness a bit, that's all right, we'll get out of it, we will, truly. You know, it's not about, oh, you need to hold the right vibration continually. Oh, I've got to hold the right vibration. Oh, my God, I've got to do it somehow. I don't know how. It's not like that at all. You see, soul travelers are always 
at the right frequency. If we're always where we're meant to be and we're always doing exactly what we're meant to be doing. Even when we think we're getting it wrong, we're doing exactly what we're meant to be doing. Because I call that, I call it um, the maverick effect, people. That is what it is. It's the maverick effect. It's where something incredibly beautiful grows out of a heap of shit. You know, that's what composting is all about, if you think about it. The maverick effect is where, in this dark, nefarious, insane chaos, where everybody seems to be losing the plot, where everybody has become a follower, where everybody is, is tuning into the external in favour of the internal, where people are doing the same thing over and over and over again, yet expecting different fucking results where you're losing friends and families left, right and centre because you realise, well, you know, weren't you, you know, they're just not what you thought they were at all. And you realise there's only very few actual, really sold people around that are actually really doing the work. Any true soul traveller is doing the work, will continue doing the work. And it is hard as fuck, but it has yielded. It has. You need to take the pulse of your progress. It's important that we do that. All of us, we have to do that. Because now, people, now, you know, it's not a time to give up. Anybody can do that. Giving up is so easy. Any old soul can do that, but a soul traveller never gives up. It's going to change. Things will be revealed. Things are going to come to light. Yeah. And they have anyway. If you think about all the stuff that you are aware of now, that you understand now, all the gnosis that you have already gained, Painful shit, but it's good to know because it means you're, you know, all of that is power, you know. Our power, oh well, hmm. we have a lot more power now than we ever did before, I know that. We're here to do something, I feel, or at least I feel that for me. And one way or another, that's probably true for every single soul traveler. It may be different exactly what we're here to do, whatever, but that's hardly relevant right now. We are here to do something. Hmm. It's just all bullshit, guys. It's all lies and it's all subterfuge and it's all Plato's cave and it's, it's bollocks. So don't believe it. Go within. Trust yourself. Stay the course. And if you do slip into despair, fear, rage, hate, conflict, whatever it is, Grab yourself out of it. Do the best you can with that. Won't be long. A couple of days. Start to feel better again, I promise. Oh, oh my love. Mm -hmm.